today we're going to change the wash down system um, of the 190 FSH. Um, Yamaha built a great product with the wash down, um, but for my use, I need fresh water on my boat. So we're going to change the raw water and we're going to put a tank to have fresh water on the boat. And since I stay in the Bahamas for several days, and I need fresh water on the boat. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do that. Okay, got the sea flow um, marine pump and accessories like the hose and all the uh, little filter for the water for any impurities. And we're gonna need a lid, five inch lid, a jigsaw a drill and some stainless steel screws and we're also going to need a seven gallon water tank um, we're going to put another hose there which is going to be uh, 70 psi it's going to be a, a little bit better hose to get better psi pressure and this is where we're going to put the tank on around right the left side of the boat we've got this compartment here perfect to put the tank in here so we want to put the tank right around here that's why the 12 by 12 is going to fit perfect here and this is where we're going to lay the tank and then we're going to secure it with a, um, a bungee a special bungee for uh, for the boat and we want to set the pump it's going to be sitting right here next to it we're going to use the existing hose that is in here the existing hose is going to be used to uh, connect the tank. To do is you want to come come in here and open this lid, and you're gonna make sure that this valve here is to the closed position. Because since we're gonna close this out, we don't want no water to come in here. So first, I'm gonna press this here, this little clip, so you can get the hose out. There it is. The hose is out already. And if you want to put the raw water in the future back on, all you have to do is get the hose again and put it in here and you got it. Just uh, to get the water line, the raw water line, you're going to have to open this lid here so you can get to it. Okay, now you see the uh, blue hose. We're gonna have to disattach it from here, here, disattach it right here. So that way we can pull the hose to the other side. Also keep in mind this is gonna void your warranty on your raw water wash down. Now that the hose is loosened, we're gonna go on the other side now and tug the hose from the other side now we've got all the holes out this is the hose we're going to use to attach the fresh water pump so we want to save this hose. Make sure that we cut just enough what we need. Okay, this is your strainer, connector, and the pump connectors. This hose here has 70 psi pressure, so it's a little bit thicker, kind of withhold the pressure of 70 psi. So it's good to change it out. Okay. 
now we have split this hose here this is going to go in to the feeding and this other line here is going to go to the tank right here so that way uh, the water will be withdrawn with the pump right in here towards the hose here and the fittings they fit perfect these fittings fit perfect in this area here and this is what you're going to connect your pump to so I connected this bungee here um, you got to do it before because later you won't be able to access this spot here put it with a stainless steel washer and screw and this is going to go like this go over the tank and then another washer stainless steel screw right here and this is what's going to hold the tank from uh, any waves or anything like that make a movement so for now you put this aside later And this is the best spot I found where to put the uh, water pump. This way this hose here is not pinched. It goes all the way around to the connection there. Where there's no pinching on the hose. Now we're going to secure the pump to the uh, bottom here. You got to make sure you don't drill any holes that's going to get to the sidewall of your boat. So you got to make sure you're drilling on the surface here and put your strainer here and this is where you're going to put your hose all the way connected to your tank but that we'll do it later Got all the screws in and put a little bit of uh, marine silicone right on top. That's it. That's how you put the lid on it. And in here, put some side supports to avoid having the tank moving around so much. And there's gonna be another support right here. So we want to put the tank in here. It's not moving anywhere. And this is gonna support the tank. Sponge here. The pump is already installed. Pretty stiff here. Pretty good. This is going to be my power line for the 12 volt. Fresh water tank is done already. Got your hose here. This one has a stronger hose for 70 psi. And this is where I have the tank. So I have a lid here. So this is the way I'm going to put water in the tank. And this is the suction line here. This blue line that goes right to the pump. And this blue line right there is this one right here. So basically I use the same hose and secure the pump to the bottom hole there. Make sure you don't drill holes too long. It's going to exit to the bottom of the hole. So you got to be careful with that. And this is your strainer there, right here. So you don't get any impurities in the pump. And this line here is your vent. If you don't put a vent line, you not, the tank is not going to work. It's going to make a suction and it's not going to work. You're going to burn on the pump. So you got to make this vent line all the way down and place it on a higher level, like right up to here. That way, water does not spill from here. It's only air that comes out of here. Now for power, put the power right through here, right through here, right through there. It's 
coming right through here, and then exit from here all the way through the bottom. Okay, what I did was this is my main two battery switches right here, one and two. But here, what I did was I put the pump directly to the battery because it, it draws a lot of power. So <clears throat> I put the positive here, negative here, and split the positive here. So that way I can shut it off just for the water and turn it back on. And let me show you how it works. It has a lot of pressure. 70 psi. Let me show you how the pump works. Um, as soon as you turn the water on, the pump will work. You shut it off and it shuts off. It's on demand. So that's it. And the reason you don't need a pressure tank, this hose acts as your pressure um, tank. That way, there's a little bit of pressure build up inside the hose. If you wouldn't have any uh, pressure build up then your pump will be cycling once in a while you'll hear the pump going tuk, 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 tuk. And then that's cycling that's gonna waste your battery but having this hose prevents that so you're good with this and that's it that's how you build your fresh water tank on a 190 FSS Yamaha or uh, any other brand boat that you have a compartment that you can put a tank and remember this is a 12 by 12 by 12 it's just a square box and it's seven gallons um, and you can send this to be custom because it has to be custom it takes about two weeks to get it and the pump you can get it also through Amazon it's a Seaflow professional grade pump 70 psi uh, five gallons per per, met, uh, per minute all right, that's it. That's how you do it. Hope this video helped everybody that um, needs a freshwater tank on uh, any other boats. Thank you.